Hey folks, it's Mangirl. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a follow-up video to the video where we looked at the FPV Controller 2, that's the great DJI remote, and how it works with the O3 system because we found some really weird behavior which led me to believe that the three components in the O3 system, so the goggles, the controller, and the air unit, are highly dependent on one another. So what I suspected in that video was that the controller communicates with the goggles through a lower power link, and then the goggles do all the you know, heavy lifting and all the processing and all the signal kind of stuff back to the air unit. And the reason why I think that is because we did a test where the goggles were left in the garage, I walked away with the controller and within five to 10 meters of leaving the house, the actual control link was lost. So I'll link you to those videos in the video description, so make sure you check those out. But one of you asked a really good question. So how would those tests look like if we were to do them on the old system? And I've been running that old system for about three years. I never saw any weird, unpredictable behavior or anything that would make me think twice about how it worked. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to do test number two and test number three once more, but using this system. So this is the black controller from DJI. This is the FPV controller one. I've got my V1 goggles over here and I've got a Cadex Vista. And all of this is running the prior firmware. So it's running 606 firmware. So we should get exactly kind of the experience I've had now, probably the last year and a half, two years. And here's the first test. So for this test, we left the goggles in the garage and we're walking away with just the transmitter and the garage are closing means that we are off and the quad currently is armed. So you do see the red spinny propellers in the corners and we are gonna keep a close eye on the RC signal, which is a transmitter signal as reported by the goggles. And as we get further and further away, we see that the signal is dropping, but everything working okay so far. We're getting a couple of warnings saying RX lost, but we have not fail safe. The props are still spinning until we finally do fail safe. And now I went over to Google Maps and I looked at how far I got and I did get further on the FPV controller one, which makes sense. It's got way bigger antennas. So I went 119 meters with the controller one versus 105 meters with the controller two. Not much different, but at least a little bit more range. But more importantly, we got very predictable behavior. The controller did not disconnect right away like what we saw with the controller two. Now this test is supposed to mimic us actually flying the quad because I'm walking away with both the goggles and the controller. So imagine that you know, you're flying and the, the quad's getting further and further away from you. So this will give us a good sense of how the video along with the control link kind of react to the distance. And here with the old system, they're both running on the same band. So they're both on 5.8 gigahertz. So we should see very similar kind of predictable experience as the video drops off, we should see the RC signal all to drop off. So here we're gonna look at two things. We're gonna keep an eye on RC signal along with the bit rate, because as we get further and further away, both of those should start to drop. So we're seeing our bit rate is coming down. It's still pretty strong, but we're down to, I saw 20s, I'm seeing, yeah, 17. So it's starting to come down pretty quickly. Our RC signal is at three, so holding pretty strong. Props are spinning, so things are looking pretty good. And what I think is gonna happen is we're gonna to start to get choppy video and blocky video way before we get a loss of RC signal or fail safe. And that would be our indication to say, hey, you know, turn around, bad things are about to happen. But very predictable so far. Okay, we're down to single digit video. So at this point, yeah, we would have started to turn around. I see a lot of, okay, I've seen blockiness. I'm starting to get warnings here for RX loss and it finally fail saves. So a very predictable behavior. They both seem to drop around the same time, but with a lot of warning to say you need to turn around. And now here I'm trying to rearm and kind of turn around in exactly the same spot and see what the behavior is. So I see that RC signal is still holding, pretty weak, but the holding. I see a bit of bit rate. So at this point in time, you know, the system is struggling, but I'm still able to do something. But again, in real life, you would have turned around way before this happened. And I can, I'm doing a little bit of a test to see do I still have control of the aircraft. So I did a little bit of a you know, left and right, forward and backward, just to see that it still works. So very predictable. But again, I would have turned around. If I had one megabit and that kind of blocky video, I would have turned around. 
but nothing too surprising. I'm getting some RX loss, which tells me that the signal is very, very weak. It hasn't failed safe yet, so that's a good sign. Yeah, one with, with one megabit, I would have crashed long before this. Yeah, there we go. So we finally fail safe. And then ultimately, at this point in time, I've turned around. So now the antenna of the goggle is facing the quad. So best case scenario for an antenna. And we see as I walk back, the megabits are improving. The RC signal is improving and everything is looking kind of as expected. So hopefully this video helped you kind of compare the O3 system and the controller 2 behavior with the old system and how it worked. Here you can see the old system, very predictable, kind of as expected, whereas the O3 system and the FPV controller 2 still, still continues to really boggle the mind and, and baffle the brain. So my, my suggestion still holds true. I would not use that FPV controller too until DJI works out the bugs with it, unless if you know you have to use it because you've got the Avada or you've got the uh, Potato. Otherwise, get your own control link as proven by these videos here. Okay, hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'm sure folks will disagree with me in some areas, but happy to hear your feedback.